It seems like Sin goes out in a, might be a little bit of a slow start. Perpetual Way might be catching up just a, quite a bit. There's a little bit of wheel contact between both drivers, but Sin maintains it. To the couple of corners on the first lap left of the most amount of corners too as well, I believe, on this second longest track for the last time this evening. And Double OT has actually expended quite a bit of ERS already. It's bringing on Jamie. Can he get an overtake done here, Alex? It seems that, well, I mean, they're both going with a wheel. It seems like Chaz actually had a little bit of a later break here, but doesn't make yeah, the overtake. It's going to have safety car Look at this battle right now. It's going to occur for sure. That's perpetual rain under massive amount of pressure from Jamie, I believe. And then on top of that one, you have Chase and everybody else in the background. Go ahead, Alex. How do you call this one? Yeah, here, but I believe that Kumi Johns is going to get the DRS here, so he should be able to overtake double OT in this upcoming corner there, but actually does not commit ERS overtake. Oh, and both drivers go a little bit deep into the inside, but I think Creamy Johns might have the overtake here, and no, actually oh. ends up using the track runoff yeah. to uh, pretty much be able to go there. Yeah. Sure. I'm trying to almost read that, but I'm looking at Creamy Johns on double OT on the outside of whatever the hell turn it is. That will be the hairpin as you come down to the straight, the final turn. And did he get it done? He did get it done. Will he get the DRS activation? Yeah. Again, trying to get the overtake. He does have much less ERS compared to Creamy Johns, but you know, if you're able to use the ERS plus the DRS of the next zone, and check out Jamie Lawrence on Chaz, a lot of but Cody, a two for one special with Jetta, mate. Where are you getting your stamps from? Oh. He could be very well doing this. Look at this, Alex. Is he gonna get it? I think he just got one, but he might get the second one in the next DRS straight. Champion Lawrence within his uh, potential ability to overtake, but we might see an overtake happening here within the next uh, oh, DRS. Trying to hold off perpetual rain. Stoney's in the picture. Godzilla and Sean Mariotti a little bit further down the field there in the Hasses. But this is where it's all at. This is where the action's at, 7 of 25. Somebody has to box soon, too, as well. From that, I believe... People are going to start boxing around lap 10, give or take. I don't remember the exact lap amount that you have to box for this track, but it was somewhere around those lines, if I recall. Corner right before, after it should the be there, section, yeah. But... Wow, that's a strange place to do that. Like, that's not very F1. Will they have to replace the tech barrier? Will that cause a red flag? Will Shall that bring sense? Okay, I will. Then, yep. So that Cody, means, right? yeah, Co uh, Cody's a man that can put wet weather tires on and still win a race. I mean, he's going to play a different can, strategy. I think he can make softs work for 15 laps. I mean, it's going to be, they're going to be highly worn softs, but I think it's it like Sean Moriarty, unfortunately, got the, the the worst part of that. He's lost quite a bit of positions here in the safety car because I think Godzilla was serving a penalty oh. in the pit lane. Division one in the European, uh, sorry, the Americas is good. Get on, I'm getting on with this, my friends, from P12 up into P2 already. Just a little bit, but then you back on the throttle, flat on the throttle, and then you're going to come up to the hairpin. Yep. It's an overtake in the hairpin for sure, right? Yeah, I mean, there is overtaking on this section here, naturally, when it comes towards the DRS Watch section. Up. He's on his multi-million dollar yacht, sitting there with his like, trophy cabinet full of trophies. You know, I think I think what happened... And Godzilla. I'm definitely going to get two for nail, and whether they'll be uh, exchanging Christmas cards this evening. Hmm. But we do see Fluffy Dave is going to go into the pit. Strike tires, yeah. and look at this. Look at this, Alex. Are we going to see a overtake? No, it's, well, I mean, we do see, we do see Shibi actually take the position from Godzilla, but Godzilla tries to make a late break turn here. But oh no, Godzilla. Oh man, Red Hornet actually went ahead and blistered through the. I don't know, what was that? He just driver's was there, so I don't know what happened there. I think Red Hornet's trying to find his way back to the, to the track somewhere along. He's lost like Kimi Rockin. Krim Sorry Johns about that. Putting pressure on double OT. Guys, welcome along. 16 at 25. We are currently running here for the final round this evening here in the desert. Yeah, Jamie's 17% ERS, so he's pretty much completely drained out of resources. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if he unfortunately loses this position to Creamy Johns. Well, two into three into one somehow works. But then again, yeah. Jamie did get through, and now he's in the middle of an Aston Martin sandwich. Are they going to work together? Are they going to do a Perez and try to hold him up? 
I don't know. Kremi John's thinking about Jamie right now. And I think he's thinking about him quite well because now he's looking at Jamie in his mirrors and has definitely got the job done. Get back out ahead. And yeah, not enough time to. I mean, no, it's gonna. I think it's gonna slam him all the way down to E6. I believe he's changing to a fresh set of soft boots there. So I. Jamie you know, on Krabby Jones, a little bit tapping, a little bit contact, a little bit Christmas card exchanging. I'm not quite sure. Stockings, coal, and somebody's stockings. Yeah, it was a little uh, zomb a zombie-like scenario. Is double OT to go through or not? That'll be debated definitely down there in the uh, FIA race control. So Cody now yeah. is potentially looking at a podium because he's two seconds away from Krabby Johns and they are nursing penalties. I think Cody with that pit stop has done a Max Verstappen. In third place. He wants to cross the line in first place. And I'm pretty sure it's only a matter of time before this man will get it done. Yeah, the... Uh, the... Can this man make it work? Can he get the exit speed? And he has. He's done it, Alex. He's he absolutely well. done it. Unbelievable. And that, my friends, is the sign of a true world champion. But doesn't... He's, he's okay. He's having fun once again. So you're lucky out there, Yano and the other esports drivers that this man just decides not to compete against you because he very well could have that trophy. Pretty much be able to make the overtake here between both drivers, but Mr. Cody Lawrence crossing the finish line becomes the driver's champion of PPR Esports, Creamy Johns. AKA, definitely not some idiot, AKA world driver's champion of PPR Esports, PC non-assist tier one. Congratulations, my friend. Enjoy the bubbly.